You're listening to Strictly Business Podcast with Lindsay Williams. The JSC has closed its doors for the first day of a new trading week, so it's time for the five o'clock shadow with myself, Lindsay Williams. Good evening. Not a great start to the week, I must say, but then I sort of said that last week and then everything turned around and it turned out to be a positive week. So who knows what's coming tomorrow, but let that not detain us. Let's talk about what has happened today. Nothing much on the JSC Stock Exchange News Service, the SENS, the SENS as they call it. So let's go straight to the spot prices where the RAND has changed its big figure from 16 to 17. It's currently 17.05 or 17.08. British pound against the RAND is 20.27. The Euro RAND is 17.19. The Euro dollar, gosh, you know, it's nearly par now. It's nearly par with the Euro. Euro dollar is 100.85 or as traders would say, par 85. So it's not good at all for the euro, the dollar in the ascendancy, and it's sort of safe haven buying, and I'll come to that in a moment as well. Uh, British pound against the US dollar has sunk below 119, although, as I've said before, it is a slight outperformer versus other currencies against the dollar. Uh, British pound against the US dollar, the cable, as they call it, 118.85. The gold price is down $3 an ounce to 17.38. The platinum price has fallen thirty five dollars to eight fifty nine and palladium is twenty one sixty uh, or up eight dollars an ounce. Let's have a look at crude oil. It's been relatively quiet today. Yeah, just a bit of selling coming in now though. It's down around about let me see. It's down one and a third percent to one hundred and five dollars and sixty eight cents per barrel for Brent crude oil. And the West Texas brand is one hundred two ninety three, which is down one point eight percent. Natural gas has soared. There is a rumor that the Russians are closing down the Nord Stream uh, pipeline for uh, well flagged maintenance. They do it every year, but they think that maybe they're not going to turn it back on again. So <laughs> everyone's scrambling for natural gas. Six and three quarters percent up at the moment. And elsewhere, pretty quiet on the commodities front, apart from copper, which is down just over 3% in New York at the moment. It's had a torrid, torrid time. The US 10-year bond yield, having been 3.10% on the close on Friday, is now 2.97%. And that's where the safe haven buying is coming in. As I said, people buying the dollar because they think, well, if we've got a dollar, then you know, at least we can uh, do some transactions. And the same thing with the US 10-year bond. Park your money in US 10-year bonds and everything will be fine. That's the theory anyway. But this is a big move. It's a four and a quarter percent fall in the yield of the 10-year. And the South African 10-year bond yield, not so, unfortunately. This has fallen, uh, the bond market, but the yield has risen to 10.75% percent which is 12 basis points higher from friday and that's all to do with the weak rand of course what's the other thing we look at oh yeah bitcoin down two and a third percent twenty thousand three hundred and ninety and s p 500 futures uh, they're off their lows. They were down about one and a half percent. They're now only down 0.9 percent, but that's enough uh, to, to to warrant some uh, some nerves, I think. Okay, let's have a look at some of the big movers on the JSC today, up and down. On the upside on the JSC, Tungela up 2.9 percent. Actually, Vivo, I don't know what that's doing, but it's up 17 percent. I don't know what it does either. But uh, Tungela, uh, let's start with that 2.9 percent higher. MediClinic again on the upside as the Remgro deal rumbles on, 1.4% to the good. Tiger Brands up 1.3% and Diskem up 1.25%. On the downside, a digger, Kumba Iron Ore, 6%, just over 6% weaker. African Rainbow Minerals, another digger, down 5 and 3 quarters. Implants, you know what that does, uh, down 5.5%. Bytes Technologies, down 4 and 3 quarters. And Anglo-American PLC, I was talking about that with um, David Shapiro on Shapiro World earlier on, which I urge you to listen to uh, this evening, because neither of us know why the market's going down, but we do know it's going down. So we sort of philosophized about that. And he mentioned Anglos. He said he looks at the chart. He only does basic charting, as I do. But he says it looks terrible. Anglos. American PLC down four and two thirds percent. Uh, the spots, uh, sorry, the spot indices on the JSC. Let's have a look and see how they close off their lows. I'm, I, that's that's the best I can say, really. Uh, resources down 3.4 percent, industrials down 0.9, financials 1.2 percent in the red. The top 40 index closed at 61,008, down one and three quarters. 
and the all share itself, the overall index, 67,227, 1.6% down. And currently, let's have a look at uh, what the uh, what the US is doing on my 15 minute delayed screen. Yeah, it's not very good at all. Off, off its lows, the Dow Jones is only down 0.4%, so value stocks are doing better than growth stocks. The S&P down just over a percent, and the Nasdaq down 1.9% at the moment. In London, the FTSE has recouped most of its losses. It's only down very slightly. The DAX, on the other hand, is down one and a third percent in Frankfurt, and the Cat Courant in Paris down 0.7%. I'll be back tomorrow morning with the opening, so please join me then. And please listen to Shapiro World on strictlybusinesspodcast.com. The views and opinions expressed in these podcasts are those of Lindsay Williams and various contributors and do not reflect the policy, position or opinion of any other agency, organisation, employer or company associated with strictlybusinesspodcast.com. Assumptions made on the analyses are not reflective of the position of any other entity other than the speaker or the author. And since we are critically thinking human beings, these views are always subject to change, revision and rethinking at any time. Please do not hold us to them in perpetuity.